For this video, I want to cover the IRS Form 8453, which is a transmittal form for certain types of documents that you might need to submit with your 1040. So I've got one slide in front of us here covering kind of what this form is and when you might need it with an example, and then we'll go through a sample 8453 uh, and how to submit to the IRS. So what is this form? This is a form where you have to paper file additional documents to the IRS, and so this works as kind of a cover sheet. All right, so when a taxpayer electronically files their 1040, um, there might be cases where they have to provide additional information uh, to the IRS, or they have to file a form with their 1040, an actual IRS form, that's not supported for e-filing purposes. Okay, so believe it or not, there are actual forms um, that the IRS has that are actually part of tax return prep software, but the software itself or the IRS doesn't accept it for e-filing purposes. So for example, and the one we're gonna look at here is the 8332. So the 8332 is a release of an exemption uh, by a custodial parent, so the non-custodial parent can claim the child as a dependent, but this form generally cannot be uh, e-filed. And a lot of software, um, even if you wanted to print it off, sign it, and attach it as a PDF, even then you can't do it. So in order to submit this to the IRS, you have to electronically file your 1040 and then paper file the 8332 with the 8453. Okay. Now, the 8453, you can prepare it with the return, but you should only be submitting it uh, until you've gotten an e-file confirmation that the return was accepted, right? So the, you file the return, within a few business days, you'll get an e-file confirmation and acceptance, and it's at that point that you can, you can file the 8453. So in this example here, we have John and Jane. They're married, and they got a divorce in 2019. They had one son, Brian, uh, as part of their marriage, and after the divorce, Brian now lives most of the year with Jane, uh, and this makes Jane the custodial parent. Now, John continues to support uh, everyone financially, uh, which is not uncommon. Um, so, you know, what happens here is he, he is generally better suited to claim his son as a dependent because he might be eligible for certain types of tax credits and things like that. And so. Uh, John uh, goes to Jane and asks her, hey, can you release the dependency exemption to me so I can claim our son, right? Because if Jane, um, if her earnings are less than John's, um, the child tax credit might not be of any benefit to her. Now, uh, John is using an online tax return prep service, so he's preparing his own return. And the, uh, the online service provider allows you to e-file but he has to paper file the 8332, okay? So that's where the 8453 comes in here. So the 8453, uh, again, it's a U.S. individual income tax transmittal uh, for an e-filed return, okay? And, and that seems obvious, but uh, this is an important point to make because if you're just paper filing the whole return, then you don't need this, right? Because you're paper filing the whole return just include any additional documents or forms that you need to submit and the IRS will get everything in paper form at once. This is filed if you're e-filing a return and then you need to submit another piece in paper format. So we have John, his first and last name, social security number, and then his address. And then down here we check off whatever box or box is if we're submitting multiple items um, that are going to be submitted via this transmittal form. So in this case, we scroll down here and we notice we've got here the form 8332, so the release revocation, uh, re revocation of the exemption. So we check off that box there, and then um, John would also include the actual release form, right? So John would prepare this form. He would send it to Jane, or they would meet up, and Jane would sign it, enter her social security number and date it, and then give it back to John for submission to the IRS. So this whole thing should be printed. Uh, the 8453 doesn't have to be signed by John. There is no signature line, and uh, you don't have to submit it with um, your, a copy of your tax return. You really are just mailing this page and then any documents that you are submitting to the IRS behind it. Okay, so that covers it for this form. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below, and I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Thank you.